Welcome to our lesson on character traits. So this week we're talking about determining what a character is like in a story. What are their traits? What are they like on the inside? Are they someone who's intelligent? Are they someone who's hardworking? Are they dedicated? Maybe there's someone who um, is brave. Maybe there's someone who's smart. These are those traits that we see on the inside. So let's start by talking about characters. You should know this already, but characters are who the story is about. It's the who part of a question. It's like those right there questions. We can go right in the story and tell who it is about. Without characters, there would be no fictional story. It just would not be happening. A story tells what those characters say and do and how they behave. And we use that information to determine their character traits. So let's go ahead and go to page 92 in our laughs book, our new I Ready Laughs book, page 92. And I want you to underline this part with me that when we're reading a story, it tells what tells us what characters say and do and why they act in certain ways. By studying what a character says and how they say it, what do they do, what are they acting like, and why are they acting that way, we can determine the traits of a character. Okay, so let's talk about that. Traits are special qualities, and some examples of traits are courage, pride, or honesty. Okay, those are just examples. The sequence of events in a story, meaning the order of those events, first, next, then, and last, help us to figure out what a character is like and how they change. Think about our Carl the Complainer story. In Carl the Complainer, he changes from the beginning to the end. You're going to read this week about Bruno the Bear and about Wolf, who's a character, and you're going to see how they change in the story. So let's do an example today. Let's just look at a cartoon here. There's not a whole lot of words, but we can still determine a lot about our character. So in our first part of our character cartoon here, I see this really big mountain and I see a giant behind it. But I notice that this giant is smiling. He doesn't seem like the angry mean giant. He seems pretty nice. Then I look over here and I see that there's these hikers. And if you look carefully, you might have saw the hikers here. But they got to the top of this huge mountain and it looks like they might need some help. And here is my nice giant and he doesn't say fee-fi-fo-fum and meanness. He says, hi, let me help you over the mountain. Hmm. So he's saying things and he's doing things that are telling me about him. Then I'm going to look over here, and now I see my characters, and again, Smiling Giant, and he says, I'll be here when you want to go home. So not only was he kind in helping them get over the mountain and helpful, but then he's going to be friendly and stay there with them, so he's dedicated. I hardly had to read anything to figure that out. So let's go ahead and use that cartoon now to fill out our graphic organizer on page 93. So let me go ahead and flip mine over. Keep your book open so you can refer back to our cartoon today. And let's look here in the middle. We know our character in our story. The main character was the giant. Okay, so let's talk about his feelings first. Let's go down here. How was he feeling based off of his pictures? Well, we know he was smiling. In fact, we could even put that over here. He was smiling. He was smiling which was one of his actions that we noticed. And because he was smiling, I feel like he is happy. And remember, happy is a feeling because it changes. Okay? Changes. Another action that I noticed the giant does is he helped the climbers over the mountain. And I could look at my cartoon and see him doing that. So I was able to see his actions and I could figure out he was happy based off of it. All right. So why is he doing that? What does the giant want? Remember we talked about that before. What is it that he wants? And I think based off of this, he wants 
to help people. He didn't want to be the mean giant and say you can't climb over the mountain. He wanted to help them because he's smiling and was being open. So based off of how he's feeling happy, that he's smiling and he helps them get over the mountain, and also that he wants to help people, I can kind of tell you what one of his traits are. I bet some of you might be thinking he's helpful. We've said that word a few times now. I also could say that he's friendly. He's the friendly giant. And another really great word I could put is pleasant. He's happy and pleasant. Pleasant kind of means that he's calm. People can approach him. He's um, happy all the time. He's pleasant. Now, pleasant is different than happy, though, because happy is your emotion changing. Someone who's pleasant is pretty much pleasant all the time. That's what they're like as a person. So now that I have thought about that, I want you to think about what happened in the cartoon and how did his actions contribute to the sequence of events. Think about that. If he had not been smiling and happy and wanting to help people, what would have happened different in our story? Oh, I'm thinking maybe the hikers would have been stranded or maybe that they would have been scared and ran home. That's part of this. What would have happened if he had not helped them? Maybe they would have had to go back down the same side of the mountain instead of going over the mountain. So the character in a story makes a big difference to the ending of the story. So that is my thinking today. Later on when we meet, we're going to be talking more about using what a character wants, what do they do, what do they feel like, what do they say to figure out the character's traits.